What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Ava, and welcome back to my channel. Alright, you guys, so I'm pretty sure you can tell by the title that today's video is about buying CMOS and the benefits of CMOS. Before we get into that, if it's your first time here on my channel, the motto of my channel is beauty from the inside out. So of course we do talk about things in the beauty world, hair, makeup, all that great stuff. But we also talk about internal beauty. We talk about anything for mental health. Today we're talking about sea moss, which is something very beneficial when you digest it. Just focus on becoming just awesome people from the inside out. You know, beauty, outer beauty is amazing, but if it's a reflection of your inner beauty, that's even better. If that sounds like something you would be interested in, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button because it helps me out so much. And comment in the comment section a glitter heart emoji if you are excited about sea moss or Irish moss or however you refer to it. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So I actually have some Irish moss or sea moss, however you want to refer to it. I call it sea moss. My family is from Jamaica. People in my family call it Irish moss. This is it right here. And first, I want to talk to you about just a little bit about the benefits of sea moss and exactly what sea moss is. Sea moss has 92 of the 102 minerals that our body is made up of. I actually found out about sea moss because I was looking for something to help me with like my overall mental health, like clear out some of the brain fog I was having and just feel overall like a better person. Okay, so one of the things sea moss is good for, it's good for your overall sexual health for men and women. In Jamaica, um, my grandfather was telling me that they call sea Irish moss strong back. If you don't know what that means, it's kind of like for the males to have a strong back to help you, you know, carry out the activities that you would like to engage in. You know what I mean? For women, when you digest it, it lubricates the body. So for lack of better terms, you will be juicy if that's something that you're having an issue with. There you go. So another thing, I started taking sea moss, like I told you, for the mental health benefits. Like, not necessarily mental health benefits, but my overall health benefits to make sure that I was prepared to really just focus on my, like I wasn't feeling fatigued and stuff like that. Like I needed energy, I was feeling very down. And one of the things that sea moss is good for, it's a natural anti-inflammatory. So if you have arthritis or joint pains, that is something that is really good for you. I actually have two testimonials about this. I had arthritis in my lower back, and I do said I had, because earlier this year, back in July, I wanna say of the summer, I couldn't walk. Um, I was going to the hospital a lot in the urgent care, and I, I was having issues with my back. So just to give you guys a little bit of background history, when I was 12 years old, I had a spinal fusion surgery because I had scoliosis. And what it did was I had a corrective surgery, so now my spine is straight, but I had um, a curve in my upper spine and my lower spine. I only got the upper spine corrected, and it was supposed to naturally straighten out my lower spine, which it did. But I was starting to have issues and my lower back, like when I would wake up in the morning, I wouldn't be able to just like hop out of bed like I usually do. I would like, I would compare it to having like an older person's body. I would just be a little bit more sluggish and I couldn't get it up. And I would have to hold on to my back and stuff. It was just really, it was, it, that, that's another reason why I needed something for my overall health. Because I was getting a little depressed about not being able to just function in my body um, like I was used to. After my surgery, I recovered very well. I was a dancer in high school. I did color guard. Like, I was very very active so I knew that my back was strong you know so I knew I was good so to have that happen to me I was so like depressed about it doctors really couldn't tell me what was going on but eventually one of my my, um, my primary mentioned to me that I had arthritis in my lower back and you know I'm one of those people who believe in your word so I refused to believe it at first but at the same time I didn't know something was going on with my body so once I started taking the sea moss you guys my back is amazing I don't have it anymore secondly my mom had a bad knee she couldn't bend down. So when I started to take my sea moss, I gave it to my mother and told her, you know, you should take it. I heard it's good for your joints. And my mom can bend down on her knee now. She could jump off the bed. Like, it's only been like July. So like August, September, October. It's only been like three months, you guys, and I'm already seeing the amazing benefits of sea moss in my life. If you have eczema, so if you have like really dry skin or eczema, like I said, sea moss lubricates inside of the body. So I've heard a lot of testimonials. I don't know anybody personally about having eczema and that will help you. I also heard sea moss is very, very good for um, burns, 
and stuff like that and I believe it's because I don't really know the science of it but I'm assuming that it's working from your inside to like repair all of the damaged cells and stuff in your skin and just you know speed up the process a little bit then it probably will happen naturally and give you all of the uh, nutrients that you need to make that happen efficiently because if you're lacking um, certain minerals and things like that of course your body is created to heal itself so if it doesn't have everything that it needs it's going to delay the process or you're not even going to get to recover at all but yeah so CMOS is really good for you oh did I mention it's good for your thyroid sea moss um, sea moss is a really good thing also if you have thyroid issues um, it does not contain iodine but it does have supporting components to help with your thyroid so that's something that you if you're also if you think of it has plenty of other benefits of course it's like a multivitamin like I said just for your overall better being okay so those are just a few of some of the benefits if any of those things kind of sound like they help like something you would be interested in definitely consider taking sea moss so secondly i wanted to talk to you guys about picking your sea moss so okay so there's two different types of sea moss that you can buy you can buy wild crafted sea moss which is harvested in the ocean um when i buy my sea moss i prefer to have sea moss from the caribbean sea um just because like I said, I'm Jamaican and when I was doing my research and I was learning, I just want to make sure that I trust where I'm buying it from. Secondly, there's also pool harvested sea moss. Wild crafted, of course, would be better to buy because when you're growing something in the ocean, it's absorbing all of the things of the earth and it's in the sea moss. Pool harvested sea moss is grown in a pool and they kind of grow it in a pool. So it's, it's, it's still, I don't want to sit here and say that it's not good but if you're if the environment is a pool I would assume it's also absorbing the things in the pool the things that the plastic is made out of think about it you know how you have organic fruit versus your genetically modified fruit like I feel sea moss harvested from the sea is organic versus when it's growing when the plant is growing in the pool you got to think about it the environment is not necessarily controlled there's the, the pool water the where you're getting the water from versus things that are just from the earth and as I'm getting older I'm starting to realize that God got everything on this planet that we need to heal ourselves and to make ourselves like to, to function as we're supposed to so you know that's something to take into consideration first started buying sea moss the first batch of sea moss I bought it you guys I bought it off Amazon I know I know I know sweetie if you please listen to me if you're going to buy sea moss I would recommend that you do not purchase it off Amazon I would actually recommend that you purchase the sea moss from some Somebody you know personally or somebody that you trust that you research that you they're showing you where they're getting their sea moss from I have two recommendations from places you could get sea moss one is where I got this particular sea moss from and two is from actually a girl that I met in college um, and like we weren't the best of friends but I've always followed her on social media and like now she has her own company it's called embrace Pangea you probably heard of it I love it I've ordered from them before they have amazing products and I'm thinking about also doing a review on that so if that's something you would be interested in let me know so I want to show you guys so look this is the sea moss do you see that this is from fruits and roots and they sell sea moss and they get it and they um he actually has a seven day sea moss challenge on Instagram fruits and roots I'll put it on the screen and down in the description below I that's a trusted source for me to purchase your sea moss the second one is embrace Pangea um it's owned by a they're both black owned companies so y'all know I'm here to support my people it's owned by TC Atkinson um she actually like I said I met her in college and I've always just followed her social media and like supported her business or whatever and I trust her when it comes to my sea moss as well I would not order sea moss from anybody who does not have a face to their brand and that's just my preference if the sea moss comes in salt I would insert a picture here I wish I had a picture of this first sea moss I bought the first sea moss I bought I hate to use this word but it was very fishy like seaweed it the smell was overkill like it almost smelled toxic this has a light almost like a refreshing seaweed smell I don't know how to describe it but it has a very refreshing smell and it swells up and like also another thing too when I was looking up how to purchase sea moss you want to make sure that your sea moss doesn't look bleached or anything so like that it has different variations of color I don't 
I want to take my CMOS out the bag, y'all. So that's definitely something. You want to make sure you're purchasing the CMOS from somebody who you can trust, right? The next video is going to be about making CMOS gels. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and tell me about your experience with CMOS. And most importantly, subscribe so you can stay tuned. I'm going to do um, a, kind of like a little series on CMOS about mental health and my personal experience of what I've seen in my overall health with it and how to make sea moss and I also wanted to do the seven day sea moss challenge and I wanted to do the seven day skin mask for sea moss. I don't really know how it would work on the outside of my skin but I'm pretty sure if it works so great on the inside it would have amazing benefits on the outside. So yeah you guys thank you for taking the time to view this video and make sure y'all come mess with your girl alright and until next time everybody have a blessed day. Peace.